You know what I'm a big fan of? I'm a big fan of situations that are a little bit ridiculous and a little bit out there. Therefore, I downloaded Supernovae Cosmic Fury M mod that is on the workshop, and it's also in my mod pack. Link in the description. But, yeah, what does it do? Well, basically, it adds a modifier to your home system or any other system in the game, and basically says, hey, there's a chance for this star to, well... Now, obviously, there is a couple of modifiers that we can add to this. And do we really want to do that? Sure, we want to do that. Introducing our evacuation boys. Let's go into uh, their setup and see how they are done. Overall, it's it's just a general UNE. It's whatever. It's a beacon of liberty, idealistic foundation, xenophile. It's not really important. It's not really important. What is important, however, is that they are, in fact, nomadic. Uh, the resettlement cost is uh, actually a really big deal for what we are about to do, but that is not the bigly one. Let's go into our name and class. Starting solar system, Nova. 10 years. We could set this to 30 years, 80 years, and that's pretty much it. But, um, 10 years. We have 10 years to make like a tree and get the hell out of that solar system uh, from the start of the game, which means that we will need to find somewhere suitable and colonize it by the year six in game. Oh boy, let's do this. So overall, it's, uh, it's the, the opening is fairly standard here. It's not particularly weird. Oh look, it's the planet Tuscany yeah, because obviously every single solar system needs a place called Tuscany. And uh, we got a little bit of an area around us, but the problem that we have is that we are going to need to find ourselves a colonizable world as soon as friggin' possible. And on top of that, our alloy situation is only plus 11. We need 100, uh, we need 200 food, 200 consumer goods, and 200 alloys in order to get our colonist uh, a ship underway. And that right there is a bit of a challenge. So what are we gonna do here? Well, we're gonna sell, sell off um, a reasonable amount of our food, just a hundred, I feel, is fine. We're gonna sell off a couple of our minerals as well, just so we have enough energy here, and then build ourselves another science ship, because we are going to need to survey uh, quite a lot of territory here. Actually, we're not going to survey. We are just going to explore. Now, I know that the game doesn't actually have a modifier in here. I don't think that it even has a hotkey to just set to explore, but we're going to need to take a look around to see what's up, because uh, the soul system it's gonna go bye-bye. All right, first system has been surveyed. There is nothing here. This uh, Hythrara system, it's, not, it's nothing useful in here. So we need to move on towards next war. Hopefully we can find something good. I'm, uh, I'm really, really curious whether or not... Uh... Okay, so the second system, nothing... Oh, no. For countless of generations, the star we knew as Sol has provided Earth with light and warmth. Life on this planet could simply not exist without it. But today... The finest evacuation boys, solar physicists, have found out that uh, the, the star is dying and it will blow up in 10 years. Um, and we can't stop it. This, uh, this M-Class giant is going to go explodey. And uh, we need to inform the public. Appa apparently they deserve to know the truth and this is going to really mess with their happiness. So let's quickly take a look here at our population. Uh, let's take a look here. Happiness, 50%. Distant apocalypse. Well, it's 10 years. It's not that far away. Oh my lord, we, we still have not found ourselves. There's a micro quasar, and there's a class B supergiant, and there's yet another class B uh, pla uh, star. Where are all of these other places? Well, we're gonna need to get another um, scientist on board as soon as possible and start exploring around because we are kind of on a, time, a ticking clock here. In the words of uh, Family Guy's Quagmire, Dear Diary, Jackpot. Okay, so we found a system with two planets inside of it. It's a continental world as well as a tropical world. They are tiny. We got a size 14 and a size 11 over here. So they're not going to have that many districts. But we got, what we are going to do, however, is survey this system immediately because we are going to need to get our ships underway as soon as possible. In addition, we are going to need to focus extremely on our expansion tree just to get things going because we're going to need to rebuild an entire planet next door and that's quite a lot of districts and buildings we're going to need to refill. And sadly, due to the game um, no longer, well, not giving us any refunds on buildings destroyed, this is going to be a bit of a problem. So let's hope, oh, hello. We found ourselves another ocean world, size 11 right next door. 
Well, that's at least positive. Let's uh, quickly explore this system while we're at it, and then we'll survey this one. Let's hope that we can find something good out here, and then uh, we'll explore this one as well. Now, I cannot stress this enough. We, we are almost two years into the game. We don't we don't even have that much time. Uh, and we've, we've gotten our first expansion tradition, which allows our colony development speed to increase by uh, 25%, which... Uh, it gets gets a little bit of uh, slices a little bit off of the time that we need here and thankfully we have also find ourselves a uh, a a suitable planet so that's at least nice that's a continental world we haven't actually explored it yet but our um we have detected an anomaly yeah let's not do any anomalies for the moment but our construction ship is in place next door ready to uh, get this uh, survey concluded place star based up as soon as we've done that we're gonna need to work down our way down here because there's another continental world down here it's a size 18 it's pretty decent overall i would say it's got crystalline caverns so we can actually get some reasonable stuff on there and there's two more savannah worlds next door as well so there's a lot of potential for uh for terraforming here Construction but overall completed. yeah a little bit a little bit skittish about the situation but we're now two years into the game and it's time to get our colony ships off the ground. Now, this one over here... Oh, my lord. Look at this planet. It's got so many mineral districts on it. Well, this one's garbage. Hell, we're gonna go to this tropical world. This is great. Now, our main problem we are going to be seeing is that as soon as our solar system, you know, blows up, we are going to need to get quite a lot of resources from space. And that means that we need to get quite a lot of minerals and a lot of energy from space and we need to balance our economy as such. The main problem we're going to be having is food. Now, food we can actually buy. It's not that expensive, 130 per uh, per batch. But uh, yeah, that's, that's going to be a, a fairly big challenge. Now, we have our colony ship coming out right now. Let's hope that uh, we're going to be okay in the long run here. Wow, there's even more worlds over here. That's insane. So one of the big negatives about this particular starting point, we can't actually not afford to go for Map the Stars, which would, for me would be a de facto standard pickup. Why? Because we need that influence in order to get as many systems as fast as possible so we can get that all those uh, delicious space resources. Now we have a reasonable amount of alloys, we have a reasonable amount of consumer goods, food, minerals, especially minerals is going to be particularly important when it comes completed. to rebuilding our society on this other planet and our colony ship has just popped out. There it goes, ready to go to this here tropical world next door, which is looking pretty amazing. Aside from its habitability being a little bit on the garbage side, overall, it's actually not bad at all. Exceptional mineral quality. That's great. So, our first colony is on the verge of being done. We've System got survey concluded. about two and a half years once it's done to evacuate everybody. And we're going to need to use quite a lot of energy credits to move everybody over. The real question is, do we actually have the authority to move people around? Yeah, resettlement. We need to turn this into allowed. Because otherwise, they're just going to be like, oh... Oh, okay, this, this is a bit of a problem. Starbase influence, cost reduction, hell yeah. Give me more territory, please. Because we need to get as much as we System can. My lord, this microquasar looks friggin' awesome. So apparently we got a uh, talented general, and uh, apparently we can use him on, on our home world for 360 months, so 10 years. Uh, actually, more than that. But uh, yeah, apparently army starting experience will go up. Uh, our building speed and our overall bombardment chance will be uh, will increase. Situation that's great. That's great updated. for a world like this that um, is about to explode. Oh boy, we're, we're halfway there. 2205 January. Um, how, how is our evac point doing here? Uh, it's 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 colonizing. Let's put it that way. This is a great planet, by the way. My lord. I'm sure, the agricultural districts are a little bit disappointing, but the minerals and the energy, it, phew, this is good stuff. Uh, this rock on the other side, it's got nine agricultural districts, so we could potentially um, set that up as a potential uh, secondary world, and we will if we have the resources for it. Need a little bit more alloys for it. We got the consumer goods and the food as well. I'm just a little bit skittish. I, I, I kind of don't want to build it just yet because we need that single planet to resituate ourselves. And uh, instead of getting more colony ships underway and just 
and uh, potentially, um, you know, uh, distance ourselves from what's going on here. So you, oh, what's this? Savannah, more desert worlds? My lord, we got so many of these and there's just other garbage. Like, why do we even need this? Oh boy, the apocalypse is gonna happen soon and it's... System survey concluded. I'm not particularly keen on it, let's put it that way. Okay, so I've decided that because of our food situation on our potential first world is a little bit lacking and this world over here is quite good. We are going to um, get food from this here. Uh, food, food world? Yeah, that, that's fine. Plus, it has a good couple of good uh, desert... Um, dust deserts in there so we can get more moats in the long run and we'll have two worlds to work off and we can share resources back and forth while the population is growing. Plus we'll have two places that we can dump our population on. The real question is I don't think we're going to be in time to get this second world up and running before our star decides to, you know, explode. Oh, time seems to be running out. Sol has only got a few short years away from uh, going supernova. Apparently, protesters are gathering outside of government buildings in our capital and reports of mass looting and mass hysteria all over the planet. Um, we can get our uprisings under control or we can build more colony ships. We're not going to build more colony ships, so having a little bit more stability on our capital world would be good. 55% is a little bit more doable. Plus, we've got 304 alloys, so it's probably a good idea to start getting a star base under... Uh, underbuilt System here in our new completed. capital world. Oh, there's the there's the second colony ship, which is going to move over here. We're only three, three and a half years away until everything goes bye-bye, and we need to get as much energy as we can. Oh god, it's minus 22 food. That is completed. less than optimal. Let's, let's put it out there. 14 minerals, though. Oh boy. Let's get go and get that. It is quite amazing, and finally, this place is now online as well. So we're going to need to build quite a lot of districts here, quite immediately. So we need three of each. Oh god, we don't have enough uh, city districts and energy is going to be a problem. And yes, I did just build a shit ton of, um, of districts in order. Why? Because this planet needs to get ready to receive all the population System from Seol. Uh, which uh, could potentially be a little bit on the, you know, dangerous side. However, uh, it does look like we've got some reasonable... Uh, territory here with a lot of evacuation areas so uh, yeah let's, uh, let's take a look if we can actually find something maybe in this other direction maybe there's some more worlds we can colonize my god this this isn't this isn't a choke note yes it is and it goes straight into the galactic core that is hot so I just came to the realization that we can actually get an initial pop so we can uh, we can take the sprawling slum away and we'll get a free pop which we can then move to somewhere else uh, the money situation is a little bit worrying at the moment. Really concerned about that. Awaits. But at least we get the food Research world concluded. rolling now. Blue laser is here as well, so that's good. Research station output, don't really need it. Capacity overload does seem like something that we're going to need in the long run. And let's get these mining stations. 14 minerals in here, that is staggering. Two sixes and one two, totally worth it. Hey, at least we have enough time to get a new president, I guess. Uh, this one's ruthless, so we have an increased stability, which is may actually be kind of helpful at some point, but we'll see. Uh, we're gonna have to move everybody over towards this planet. Oh no. Only a few months remain until Sol goes supernova and Earth is rapidly deteriorating as a result. All government officials have been evacuated from the planet and any Star Wars ships remaining in the systems should follow suit before it's too late. There are still millions of people trapped on the planet. Yeah, yeah, every, everybody's still here. And uh, they're desperately trying to get ba passage to out of the system before the star explodes. It is unlikely that many of them will make it out in time. Well, that is just... That is just sad. Well, I guess we're just gonna need to resettle all of them to the evac point. Man, 200 to evac a ruler? Are you serious? Man, how is it so ex... Oh, 75, okay. Now, how many people can we evacuate? Oh god, we're out of money. Okay, so this is not good. We're gonna we're gonna need to bankroll some of yeah, let's let's get rid of some of this. Uh food maybe. There we go. Small sacrifices have to be made. Yes. The building has been ruined. Everybody needs to get off this the rock. Building has been ruined. Can we oh god, we don't have enough money. Uh our ruler pops. 
we can just leave our rulers, I guess. But we got a couple of other ones as well. Should I? A building has been ruined. Oh god, we still have we still have one artisan on this planet. We can't leave him behind. Oh no, two oh no. We we need just a little bit more money. Um one hundred and six. Maybe sell some food? Maybe, maybe this should be enough. Oh god, we, we only have one left. F 50 money. We need to get 50 money from somewhere. Um, there we go. Everybody, everybody's gone. Okay, so the soul system has now been officially been evacuated. Oh, it's now Tomb World. Oh, that was... That was quick. Construction completed. That's kind of unexpected. Um... We have some other problems, though. First of all, we need to get this uh, governor here. Um, and I was kind of worried about this already. Uh, there seems to be zero stability here. Uh, why? Because uh, there don't appear to be enough jobs to actually float our population. And food is also a bit of a problem. Uh, let's hope that uh, once the month ticks over, we are in a better spot. Okay, at least we got minerals, so that's positive, but food is definitely a problem. And energy is also a problem, so my god, minus 22 housing. Uh, there's 56% crime. We don't have enough amenities. Oh boy, worker unemployment, there's specialist unemployment. Where all this unemployment coming from? Oh, we only have farmers. Oh, that explains it. Oh, and there's an abandoned terraforming project here, which reduces food income, because of course it does. Well, I, I, I guess it's time. All, all of the planets in the solar system are now annihilated. Oh god. Oh, that's... Oh, that's... That's... Oh, that's a lot of... Okay, well, the, all the, those planets are gone. Well, this one left a cool ring, though. They, they, they liked it so much to put a ring on it, so that's nice. So yeah, the Sol Supernova, even though the station is still here. At least we got a bunch of dark matter out of it and a bunch of moats. But yeah, the Sol Supernova... Um, the shockwave has uh, annihilated everything, and uh, yeah, soul began to shrink, and then the core collapsed, and then it turned into a black hole, and uh, apparently the outermost planets are still intact. Tuscany, we barely knee knew ye. But uh, now we can get a bonus. Either we can get xenophile or egalitarian ethics attraction. So one of the big problems here is this happiness and stability is a problem because of the single ruler that does not have a job and because it's a ruler and it's in a higher strata it means it counts for eight specialists i believe no it actually counts for eight workers and or four specialists that means for every eight standard worker pops that we have um the happiness modifier will add to stability uh because well this, this pop is just worth more. So, in, in retrospect, moving the ruler over was probably not the best of ideas. Uh, we should have just, just moved over the workers only, because workers of the annihilated world unite, I guess. Or something along those lines. I'm just waiting for the inevitable here. Evac point is not in a good place. Let, let's put it that way. You know what? I feel that we can do better than this. I feel that we can... There's a way of making this work a lot better. So let's let's just rewind the clock. Let's dive through the wormhole and go back towards the landing screen and just have ourselves a more optimal species for this to work. Okay, so evacuation boys. Um well, we're going to keep nomadic, adaptive, and wasteful because we need all that stuff. However, all of this government and ethics garbage, we need to get rid of this. This is terrible. It's awful. Uh, we need to go full-on authoritarian because we want to do... You may have guessed it. Uh, we want to do some, um, some prisoners with jobs and we want to stratify the economy. Why? You will see very soon. On top of that, actually, uh, you don't want to be xenophile. Can we get... Uh, Oligarchy. Let's just do it like this. There we go. So we can get the uh, oligarchy here. Let's uh, throw some materialists in there. Maybe some pacifists for some additional stability. I think that will be a good bonus here. Although the problem with that is then we can't go into unrestricted wars. Which is a bit of a problem. Instead, let's then go for... Uh, let's just go full, full materialist. Okay, so let's scroll down here. Syncratic evolution. 
Oh boy, Syncretic Evolution is fun. And on top of that, if we can find it, uh, is Technocracy. Yes, Technocracy is also a really good one because we'll get more Unity and Science, which means we can go through the exploration tree a little bit quicker. Now, obviously, we are going to need to get a uh, a good a good subspecies of of humanoids here. There we go. Uh, they are um, smaller evac boys. Uh, nameless, I don't really care. Uh, they can be uh, machines, I guess. No, actually, um, because they are a subservient species, what we're going to be doing is we're just going to give them a, a a hive mind. Yeah, autonomous drone 57. Sounds great. Um, they're also going to be agrarian. Um, they're also going to be... Uh, we do need them to be non uh, slow learners because they're never going to be leaders. And that should be it for now. Maybe nomadic if we want to move them over for cheap... And then uh, repugnant now because we need those amenities. Governing, I, yeah, there we go. So let's go with this. Uh, serviles, there we go. Happiness plus 10, resources from jobs, cannot generate leaders. Hence the slow learners because we don't have any leader things. So yeah, there we go. Let's, let's try this again. This time around, let's just save this very quickly. So what do we have? We got ourselves an autocracy with a syncretic species below us. I think this will work a lot better. Why? Because slavery. That's why. Okay, so now that we've uh, we've gotten on our way, we've we've managed to get our first continental world right here. We're gonna need to do something important here because our human and our smaller evac boys, um, they are um, these guys are rather special. So we're going to need to make sure that they are, of course. Uh, slaves and uh, they're chattel slaves which means that the resources from jobs will definitely increase and that means that they will be working uh, wherever we need them to because we are going to need an improved amount of resources as fast as possible we've got quite a lot of them working wherever we need and uh, quite a lot of resources there's mines there's energy so we've got a lot of a lot more resources to work with which is rather nice. On top of that, we've uh, found ourselves uh, a reasonable amount of uh, cool continental worlds that we can get. And that we are going to survey uh, these systems immediately. Because uh, we want to make sure that uh, we can get uh, as much stuff as possible. There's two potential worlds nearby. Our construction ship is going to take a look at them soon. As in, in terms of uh, building everything up. Uh, we're not interested in... Uh, developing our planetary system at all because obviously it's gonna go bye-bye very soon but yeah it, I think overall we're, we're doing well here so it looks like we got two reasonable worlds here one uh, continental world it's got some hostile fauna on it the as well as some uh, a weak magnetic field but a reasonable amount of uh, agricultural districts which is good and then this one which is actually a lot better except for the absolutely garbage mining System districts on it concluded. overall uh boy boss 3 it seems to be quite good but as i mentioned the mineral districts are very very low and we're gonna need to float our economy on minerals for quite some time so let's hope that this is uh, gonna work out in the end um i'm, I'm feeling confident that everything is going to be just completed. fine but we are going to colonize this world immediately. And because we got all of our serviles working on minerals and food and stuff like that, it also means that we can focus on not selling any alloys or consumer goods just to float our economy and uh, get these colonies up and running a lot sooner. It's now only two and a half years into the game and we have ourselves uh, our first uh, bleh, planet queued up. I'm not gonna lie, um, we are three, almost four years into the game and our first colony is up and running and will be done in year seven, which is extremely fast. Uh, it's basically just beeline for these sort of colonies, this is very helpful and we're gonna, gonna get our second one up very soon as well. Uh, so yeah, overall uh, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit better, it's almost like autocracy and materialism get stuff done, including oligarchies, because, you know, democracies and xenophiles just sit around debating for way too long it's just not practical construction completed okay so we've run into a tiny little bit of a snag um yeah it, it looks like there's an anomaly on this continental world that we wanted to colonize we can't colonize it until we finish the anomaly the anomaly is very hard and is gonna take a little while to finish how long is that going to be uh, sir well Let's put it this way, um, 
quite some time. And I think that soul is gonna explode before it's done. So uh, we're gonna need to focus on just this rock over here. Uh, Hadrio Hodrianus, whatever it's called. Research uh, concluded. Because we're not gonna find any other planets in the meantime. Ooh, pop growth speed. Well, there's the Apocalypse Rising event. Um, we know, should we expedite? No, we just wanna push down the stability as much as possible. 55% stability, I, I think that's fine. We got a bunch of workers without employment. Should we get the Sprawling Slums? It is 300 energy, but we have 1.9 minerals. So let's just get this pop out of here. And let's hope that we get enough time. And then start moving over pops from uh, our new worlds completed. as well. Plus we're getting quite a lot of space of resources. So here's our new world. Um, first of all, we're going to need to have a thingy of each flavor. Why do we only need one of, of one of each flavor, a spec? Well, there's there's a couple of good reasons for it. First of all, um, well, let's put it this way. System survey concluded. We don't really care about these pops. Oh no, they're unemployed. Oh no, but especially the smaller evac boys. Um, they don't eat as much because they are smaller. That's my internal logic here. Uh, yeah, upkeep is 1.4 in food. And they use, don't use any consumer goods either. So that's something that we got going for us. These guys, in the meantime, use quite a lot of consumer goods. So we're going to need to get quite a lot of them. And these administrators and science directors, it's going to cause problems in the long run. But thankfully, now we only have uh, two unemployed workers here. And this stability, whatever, that's, that's not the end of the world. It's um, this slow transition of pops to this new world that is going to save our collective asses. Because as you can see, we have our first agricultural district rolling, which means that we can start moving one of our evac boys over towards this other world and slowly but steadily be happy about things because I think he is working there. There you go. One smaller evac boy, working hard in the fields. So now our other colony has a little bit of a stability issue, so we're just gonna add martial law to that, which is gonna increase stability by a reasonable amount. It does uh, reduce pop growth speed and pop assembly speed, and also reduces uh, resources from pops, which is not that great. Plus, we're going to need to upgrade our planetary administration, just so we can move that ruler pop over soon as well. Because, well, let's put it this way, Sol is not gonna be with us for much longer, so we should probably move our fleet over whilst we are at it. Let's add a shipyard, let's add a trade hub, and a crew quarters just like we did before it's basically the same thing because the countdown has in fact started and earth is now a tomb world already that is delightful so with all of this stuff over here we're going to need to start moving people and this is what potentially could cripple our entire existence now thankfully because certain pops particularly the slive variety are very cheap to trans transfer. So we're just gonna move all of these here uh, smaller evac ruined. boys over, as well as these technicians. A building has been ruined. So we now run out of money. So let's uh, sell some resources here just to keep our head uh, head above the water. There we go. The yes. Has been ruined. And yes, we are moving our rulers. Why are we moving our rulers, a spec? Well, we are about to get our planetary administration. We're gonna get our governor in there. What kind of governor do we have? He's, he or she is eager. Um, instead, we're gonna put Iron Fist on there. Now, you may have noticed that uh, a big chunk of even our normal evac boys, quite a lot of them, are currently not in jobs, and this is a problem. So let's go to our species rights here, and let's turn them into domestic servants. Why domestic servants, you ask? Well... Excuse me, uh, the fireworks. Yep. Yep, that's... That's... That's painful. Anyway, uh, we need to retain order, so that's good. So we at least can get that rolling. But uh, because they're servants now, it means that they are working as, you know, servants and generating amenities. And because of those amenities, they are increasing citizen happiness by 40%, which means that our stability stays reasonably high and we can keep control of our population and keep things rolling relatively efficiently, especially once these civilian industries that are gonna come online, we'll be in a pretty good spot. But yeah, 
situation well, has been updated. Nice. Uh, but yeah, because we are an authoritarian slaver race, we can control our population a lot easier, which I think is uh, a very good way of dealing with things. Sure, we got a, uh, a couple of unemployed rulers, but as soon as we got our reassembled System ship shelter turned into concluded. a planetary administration, that issue is going to be gone. We got a couple of specialists that don't have any jobs. Uh, we can just build an alloy factory. Uh, we still need to make sure that we build enough districts. So we may need to flip-flop a bunch of resources here and there just to make sure that we can get enough resources to build what we need to do. So, yeah. Overall, actually, we are generating quite of resources from stations at this point, which is basically floating our entire economy right now, which is rather positive. And then uh, let's say we uh, reduce our star base upkeep just so we can even get even more money. So at this stage of the game, it's not really a huge deal, but going for a single place approach with a lot of serviles has definitely saved our completed. society as a whole. So what have we learned? We've learned that autocracies in this game, especially with uh, servile slaves, get stuff done. If you have quite a lot of pops and you don't have enough jobs, just put them in the shackles and uh, turn, put, turn them into uh, microwave and big screen TV manufacturers because that's apparently all they are good for. My name is Benespec, and until next time, take good care of yourselves and as always, 